Hi, Andrew Tan again, and this is using contour lines to communicate form part two. So, uh, first of all, sorry about the quality of the video here. I'm uh, still working out which um, system to use or which camera to use to, to create these videos. So, uh, as a result of the poor quality of the video, I'm using um, a, uh, a fine uh, pointed uh, sharpie for, to do all of the drawings in this. So again, you know, you don't have to use that. If you don't want to you can start with a pencil if you want to so you can you know rub out your mistakes and things like that but um, anyway I'm showing you that you know really is possible to uh, to create your drawing straight um, using um, you know indelible uh, materials so um, again we're starting with some, some very um, generalized two-dimensional forms that are kind of going to move into um, creating three-dimensional shapes or forms um, uh, using these contour lines. So you'll see, um, you know, the handle in this uh, idea, uh, the idea of it is that that it uh, it's not just a, comp a simple um, curved shape, it actually dips down and it creates some more interesting uh, uh, contours, if you like. Um, notice also that, um, you know, the body here is, is uh, just kind of like a, a braid loaf kind of shape, but um, I'm using um, some of the detailing, uh, in this case the vents on the front of this um, cake mixer, to to again help me to sort out what the shape of the object, what the form of the object is really like. Uh, and so that's what I'm doing here. So um, you'll notice uh, I'm sort of subtly curving these holes around the form, um, you know, just making it up as I go along. And again, you know, these uh, vi this video, to make it not too long, um, you know, I've I've sped up the video, so it's really not going quite as fast as this uh, may seem. Uh, but you can see that you can create some um, some quite good effects by not using too many lines, by not kind of overworking your design. Um, and so here's my you know favorite um, design element, this sort of uh, chameleon eye thing. Uh, I don't know if that's going to end up in my final design or not, or or where we're at, but you know, that's the way it goes. So here I'm using actually a mistake that I made in, in the contours to, um, to start playing with, um, you know, having different layers of skins on, on this particular product. So um, I'm showing here that the, the back here is sort of, uh, sort of juts out uh, at, at a different uh, sort of surface. Um, so yeah. At this point, I'd like to acknowledge a guy called Spencer Nugent. Uh, he's uh, done some some amazing videos on uh, a website called um, ID Sketching, uh, which has some really amazing stuff about uh, how to create these sort of uh, these sort of product design drawings. Uh, pretty much all of these techniques that I've uh, that I've learned, I've learned off that guy. So, um, if you want to go back to the source, um, he is really the man in terms of these. Um, these sorts of techniques. So as you can see here, I've, I've, I'm doing a kind of drop shadow. Notice how it doesn't have to be the shape of the uh, of the object itself. We're just kind of giving some generalized sort of ideas. These are really not presentation drawings; they're more drawings to help you understand the design that you're coming up with, or to help you to kind of generate, I suppose, designs. Uh, so as such, you know, they, they want to be quick and uh, not too detailed. Um, you know, we want to come up with ideas as we as we go, um, and so that's just about it. So I'm just doing a few sort of final touches here to the drawing, and so hopefully this has been a helpful um, little demonstration, and hope you enjoyed it. Thanks very much.